Today I'm going to be smoking and giving you my thoughts and opinions on this cigar right here. I've never had a uh, non-Cuban cigar before. Um, this one, grown in Mexico, I've got some information about it on uh, this cigar website right here. Looking at it, straight away, a really nice dark wrapper, which is something I personally always like when uh, I'm looking at a cigar in a cigar store um, that I'm gonna wanna smoke. <clears throat> it's really nicely compact. This is a box press. Again, not something I would normally pick up, but after starting the Cigars of London Instagram page, uh, there were some suggestions that I should uh, try a non-Cuban cigar. So I went into Havana House, and of course I asked for VJ's kind opinion um, and he suggested this online you can get them for $13.99 I think I paid a little bit more than that maybe about a pound fifty more or so um, but that's kind of usual uh, with anything these days if you buy something from a shop rather than online they will always put a little markup um, because of uh, costs of running the shop looking at it really nice oily wrapper quite rough in the texture. I don't know if the microphone will be able to pick that up, but I'll give you a little close up. Really nice artwork on the band. When I do pick up and smoke a cigar, I definitely take a moment to appreciate the artwork, appreciate the work that's gone into it. Obviously they're all um, handmade, individually handmade. So it's nice to be able to take a little bit of time to just kind of look at it, Smell it, see what you can pick up from it, right off the bat. With this one, really quite sweet. <sighs> quite uh, chocolatey, cocoa kind of smell. Um, what I would like to do is just start by taking off this first band. Come off really nice and easy. Now, I don't know if this is a rumor or not, or maybe I heard this somewhere, but I heard that obviously because cigars are all handmade and hand rolled, if, you're easy, if you can easily pick off the band without it tearing or ripping the cigar apart, it means that the roller put on just the right amount of glue to close that band. If they put too much on and done a bit of a sloppy job, they were probably having a bad day, so it might be a bad cigar. I don't know where I heard that from, it might be true, it might be false, but either way, that come off really nice and easy, didn't damage the cigar. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is cut the cigar and start toasting. At this particular cutter, although it looks nice and glamorous, it doesn't cut that well. Um, you do have to quite, you know, give it a bit of force. And then also, I like to pinch my finger in there as well when I'm giving it some, and that can hurt. Either way, start toasting the scar with the matching lighter, of course, which I also had a problem with. I had to send back um, a few times. Uh, because it kept pouring out the gas but the it, it wouldn't light it, it was although the flint had stopped working I'm really looking forward to trying this cigar being non-cuban being made or grown in uh, Mexico I'm looking forward to seeing the differences between these particular cigars and a Cuban cigar I'm expecting a big variation of flavors throughout the cigar rather than a consistent flavor all the way through interesting straight away there is genuinely a lot of flavor in this cigar um, a lot of pepper very oily on the lips very tightly packed, that jaw is not easy, I'm having to work for that. But I feel like I'm going to enjoy this cigar. What I'm going to do is get into the first third of this cigar and I'm going to get back to the YouTube video. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, so I've been smoking this now for about 15 minutes and as you can see it is burning really, really slowly. So looking at it, it's probably going to be a good 50 minute to an hour smoke which obviously is quite a long time for a small stick. So 
I mean, you are going to have to have an evening to enjoy this particular cigar. This is a 5x54 ring gauge cigar. It is very tightly packed. As I mentioned earlier, the draw, it's not bad. It gives you a chance to really just slow down and enjoy the flavors. But this is definitely a full body, full body cigar. There's a lot of flavors in this. I'm getting a lot of pepper, a little bit of cocoa. But that's about it at the moment. I am expecting it to change. I am expecting it to loosen up a bit. But in my opinion, quite a heavy cigar. I'm getting a few leather tones through there. So leather, cocoa, and quite peppery. So quite a full on, like I, like I would say a heavy hitter. But it is definitely a lot different to the usual Monte Cristos or Cohibas that I'm used to. You can see a nice ash forming on there. Nice white ash. And the burn is very, very good. All the way around. I'm going to see how long the ash holds on for. I'm expecting it to stay there for quite a while. It's looking like a nice strong ash. I'm going to continue smoking this cigar and we'll be back with you in a few minutes. All right, so unfortunately the ash just fell off at about an inch and a half mark. I did see a slight bow in it. Um, and of course, as soon as I saw that, it fell. Um, which is a shame because it looked quite cool. I was gonna get a nice little thumbnail of the cigar. Definitely loosened up a lot. As this cigar has gone down, probably about halfway mark now, it's improved. The jaw has improved, it's become a lot looser, uh, which is nice. Definitely an evening smoke. Um, but overall, really, really, really nice. Very, very consistent. It's still not too hot in the mouth. It has cooled down slightly. I have kind of given it a second to breathe, so I can hold it right at the end. Um, getting down to the band now, I will take that off very, very soon. Still, lots of pepper, lots of cocoa. Really, really nice smoke output as well. You definitely feel like you're smoking a cigar when you've got this in your hands. Great, great aftertaste. It lasts quite a lot, quite a while as well, that aftertaste in your mouth. But not too long, so you get sick of it. You definitely want to keep going back for more. Really nice smooth draw now. About halfway down as I mentioned earlier. It's loosened up a lot. The burn, it's okay. It's not a 10 out of 10. I'm probably going to give that like a 7 out of 10 because it is slightly uneven compared to a lot of the Cubas I've had, Monte Cristos that I've had. I know they're Cuban cigars so it's not really a, a straightforward comparison but I can't compare this to another non-Cuban yet because I am a little bit inexperienced in non-Cuban cigars, but I do love this really nice dark wrapper, love the artwork, I love the combustion of this cigar, it's very tightly packed, the jaw is definitely loosened up which is nice, it's a lot, a lot more enjoyable to smoke now. And I do have an online price here, uh, $13.99, I mentioned that before. Uh, for a single and you can also get a box for £345.99. I'm not sure what the conversion is in dollars so I'll put it on the screen somewhere in Canadian and American. Uh, that is a box of 25 cigars so absolute bargain because this is one hell of a cigar. If you have room in your humidor I would definitely advise you. In fact buy a single one of these for £13.99 you absolutely can't go wrong. Um, I can guarantee that you will really, really enjoy this cigar. Uh, I can imagine this will pair really nicely with scotch, whiskey, rum, I'm having it with coffee, or even water. Uh, I do enjoy having water with coffee. Uh, I do enjoy having water with my rum as well. What I'm enjoying about this non-Cuban cigar is the fact that the flavors are changing throughout the cigar. It's quite a nice experience. Um, having those flavours changed throughout the, the duration of the smoke. 
um, it kind of gives you something to think about. It, it, it gives you something to also talk about. If you were to, you know, have a have a box of these at home and you had a group of friends over, it's definitely worth a comparison with your friends. What I'm going to do is take that band off. It's getting a little bit close down there. But this is holding up really, really nicely. Definitely loosening up well. It has maintained quite a heat in the cherry, but that is because I am kind of rushing through this. Not rushing, but smoking it faster than I normally would just for the sake of this video. All right, so I'm coming on to the end of this cigar now. I don't normally like to smoke it any lower than this because it just gets a little bit too hot for me on the tongue. Um, overall, really, really great cigar. I can't recommend this cigar enough. I'm gonna give it an overall rating of eight. Um, burn's been amazing, ash has been amazing. Um, the draw loosened up nicely about halfway through, as I mentioned, that uh, was quite a relief for me because I was having to work for it. But overall, amazing flavors, uh, lots of complex flavors throughout the cigar. It held up really, really well. Uh, for the price bracket, you cannot go wrong with this cigar. It's definitely quite a strong cigar. Would definitely recommend this for an evening smoke. Um, would not suggest trying this as one of your first cigars uh, because of the complex com complexity. Because of the complexity of the cigar, it's complex. The flavors, I mean, start small, work up to something like this, and you'll be able to appreciate it a bit more. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. Uh, any recommendations leave them in the comments any questions leave them in the comments be sure to check out the cigars of london instagram page for pictures like these and i will see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you soon